Hi, and welcome to episode five of Painting Pretty with Kristen Lynn Art. In today's episode, we're trying out the new neon paint line from a company called Gapka. If you're not familiar with them, Gapka was founded in 2005 and produced over 70 colors of paint for about 10 years. They went away for a while, but now they're back with this small line of six neon colors. I actually saw their ad pop up on my Instagram a few months back, and to say I was excited is an understatement. If you've seen my previous videos, then you know that although I love oil paint, I've always been frustrated that you can't get the bright neon colors that you can with acrylic. So I absolutely had to try these paints. The paints come in a set of six. Each tube comes in an individual box, and if you're not ready to spring for the full tubes, they do have a sample set you can buy for only $15. There are six colors, yellow, green, orange, fire orange, magenta, and last but not least, neon pink. Now, before I start painting, I just wanna get familiar with the paint and how it works. So I've got my palette paper out, and I'm literally just gonna play with the paint, and I'm honestly so excited. When I first squeezed it out, as I suspected, it's pretty thin paint, very oily. So depending on how you paint, you may want to thicken it up with a medium or something like that. But for how I work, I don't think I'll need to do that. But I definitely don't think I'll need to use a lot of paint thinner with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually see what these look like mixed with a little bit of titanium white. Titanium white is considered an opaque white, so it's great for increasing the opacity of any color. It's also good for reflecting light, so I think it's really gonna bring out the full brightness of these paints. And I can tell you already, I am in love with these colors. The pink and the fire orange are probably my favorite so far. The magenta seems to be the least neon to me, but it's still a beautiful color. Uh, but I hope the camera is doing these colors justice because these colors are absolutely beautiful. The next thing I want to do is mix a few of the neons together. One of my favorite colors to paint with is coral, but it's tough to get it bright enough in oil world, so I'm trying the pink and the fire orange together, and it's basically amazing. And then I'm trying the orange and the yellow and the green and the yellow. And I'm really just loving all of these combinations. So I'm really happy with how these work so far. Of course, the true test will be painting with them, so let's give that a try. So here's a sneak peek at the painting I'm gonna try. This is a colorful sunset, almost twilight hour, looking over a small city from above. To really put these neons to the test, I wanna see how they react with other traditional oil paint colors. So in today's painting, I'll be using the six neons along with colors needed to create my dark sky and city. So I'm adding cobalt blue, dioxazine purple, burnt umber, and then I'll be using titanium white as needed. I'm not using any other yellows, oranges, pinks, or greens outside of the neons. So where I would typically use cad yellow, that will be replaced with neon yellow, and so on. I'm actually pretty intimidated because I'm a creature of habit and I know what colors I like to use over and over again, so it's scary to try something new. But if I wanna use these paints long-term, I wanna know they can stand the test. And I'm really happy with how they're mixing with the blue and purple to create some of my shadow colors. So today I'm working on a birch wood panel that's been primed and coated with clear gesso. The first layer I'm gonna lay down will be to block in basic areas of color, starting with the neons. And I'm honestly blown away with the opacity of the first layer. Right from the start, they're really feeling neon, which is amazing, especially on a wood panel. So as I get going here, I'll tell you a little more about how these paints are made. Each batch is made by hand in their small factory in Mexico, which is awesome. Their paints don't use any fillers, so it's basically pigment ground with natural oil. And then these are obviously very unique, hard to find pigments, which is why they're so special. Like I said, they sell a small sample set for $15, or you can get the full set for $120, although sometimes they do run sales. And for oil paints, which can be pricey, I think that's a super reasonable price, especially for such unique colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up a bit and show you what I created with these awesome paints, and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video.
And that's it. We have a finished painting. I can tell you that the neon parts of the painting are taking a little longer to dry, but that's not really an issue for me. After the second layer, I was so happy with how bright the paints were in the sky and I didn't really need much more than that to achieve full opacity. I was also really impressed with how easy it was to get the bright lights to pop on the dark grounds of the city. If you're used to thicker paints, you might struggle a bit with these, but there are always ways to thicken up your paint. So all in all, I'm super happy with these paints and I totally recommend them if you're looking for a unique way to push your oil painting to another level. I'm linking where to buy them below and please leave a comment with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of Painting Pretty with Kristen Lynn Art.